Hi, this is our third video from the Parks Department to share our information with you, our Parrington residents. And today, the tools you're going to need is a spade. George, you got your spade today? Yeah! And a smaller trowel, if you prefer that for your children. We're going to be inspecting for grubs in the backyard, and around the middle to the end of March is a great time. They're going to start to surface with the warmer weather and sunshine. And you're going to want to dig a hole that's approximately 12 by 12 inches inside and 8 to 12 inches deep because that's about as deep as the grubs are going to go. Once you get to that point and you take that soil out, you're going to want to go through it to see if you can find any. And you're looking for a white grub and I've been looking through this and I don't see any. So how many are you going to need um, to determine if you have a problem? You are going to want to look for 10 or more grubs and if you find that within this area then you are going to want to contact one of your local um, landscape companies and you can do that at gardenscapeprofessionals.com it's a list of all your local companies and what they can do to be a great asset for you you also can do treatments by yourself by visiting any of your local garden retail centers um, please call just to make sure they are open in advance they might not even be selling um, are open or selling these products so usually around the time the forsythia blooms is when you can put down some grub control so we're just a few weeks away and the best time to actually treat grubs is late summer, early fall. They're at the closest to the surface at that point, but your second window of opportunity is now. So you want to inspect your lawn first to make sure you have an issue, and if you do, then you can make a treatment. There are several different methods and ways, um, and each person will have their own opinion and treatment for their own backyard or front yard. If you have 10 or less grubs and you have a healthy, very strong yard, then there's no reason for treatment. Natural um, biology and other diversity uh, functions or ecosystems that are happening in your yard will take care of the problem on its own. So we hope you look up a word today and share it with your family. We want you to look up the word raster and tell us what that means when you share it with your family and how to tell the difference between different grubs like your Japanese beetle, your June beetle, and share that with us on Facebook so that we know you're paying attention and learning from our gardening tips today. Have a great day. Hi. Yeah, say hi, George. You see any grubs today? No. No. Yay. Bye.